everyone. Welcome to the FF Salon at Money 2020. My name is Emily Redding. Hi there, I'm Sandy, VP Product at Thread. Great to meet you, Sandy. Thank you so much for joining us today. I can see you've already met Jose. Yeah, and the clippers are going. We're off. Uh, yeah. Um, what have you? What are you getting done today? Just a little trim, a little tidy uh, up. A little trim, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm in I think safe we, hands. We think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. not not a buzz cut all over. No. Nothing too drastic. No, 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 okay. no. Fab. Um, right. Let's jump in. Yeah. Sandy, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you do and uh, the organisation in which you work? All right. Sure. So uh, I'm Sandy. Sandy Saman <laughs> Thray, and I'm the VP of Product at Thread. Uh, I basically look at every and all products that are based out in Thread. My background has been into banking and finance. Okay. Pretty much, I've spent around um, more than a decade with banks and tech companies. So you know this space pretty well. I think I do a little bit around this and payments. So I know the space and it's been really exciting in this space and what we're seeing in terms of movement around in this space, it's like amazing. So, and with Thread, well, as you know, we are not uh, unfamiliar to the space. Mm -hmm. We have been around for a long time. And what with the rebrand. Uh, yes, tell me about this rebrand. Yes. You've recently undergone a big change, yes. a big change. You've changed your name, everything. Yeah. Tell me about it. How did it go? So it's, it's phenomenally more than a name change, actually. So, you know, when we started as GPS, Global Processing Services, yes. we were like going through the nimble path of from being a startup to upstart and then scale up and then potentially moving to enterprise level, right? Yeah. So it's, it's what you, you work around in, in a tech environment and you have your trials and tribulations and then you completely uh, look at the space inside out. So from a payments perspective, you know, we were the ones responsible behind uh, Monzo, um, Starling, yeah, Revolut, uh, Curve, Zilch, who Great. did a huge product drop at the fusion stage. So, yeah, so we've been powering them since they started. Wow. And then eventually when we started moving more and more into the product space and into what more we can do for our customers and also for the economy in general, then we started taking a very uh, wider approach to things. And then how do we weave everything back into the ecosystem? That's why Thread, weaving the payments very magic. Very nicely done. I see what you did there. Yeah. I like it. Um, how is everyone in the organization feeling post rebrand? Because I know that that's, that's, that's quite an undertaking. Yeah. Is it relief? Are we all glad to be Thread? Mm -hmm. What does what's the new kind of tone of the of Thread? That's a great question. So, with every change, there would always be a little bit aches. Okay, what's happening? Etc. A little bit of uncertainty. A little bit it's of natural. That. It's it's natural, and I think uh, we have got great leaders. Yes. We've got a great exec level. We've got the C suites, and we've got leaders, senior leaders who are amazing. They understand what it takes to sort of like rationalize the situation. So we have done a, a really one-on-one -on -one discussion with each and every employee, each and every person in the company. Wow. And it's, it's been very well received actually. And many were actually looking forward to sort of what we are doing as part of our next uh, reincarnation, so to yes. say. So I nice think it's, it's been positively, very positively received. And yeah, we, we, we just, we're just starting. Well, congratulations, because I know that's a, that's a huge uh, ordeal to take on. Yeah. Um, Sandy, can you tell me a little bit about your background? Yeah. How did you become VP? Okay, yeah, no, it, it sounds very loaded in terms of VP, but I think, <laughs> um, so when I started, I, I actually started as a techie, okay. as, as a developer, old IBM systems. Sure. And uh, so I understand the nuances around technology, what yeah. it takes to develop systems. Yes. And then that's how I started getting into the tech industry. So I worked with a few larger banks prior to this. Mm -hmm. And then I decided, let me move to a dark side, which is FinTech. <laughs> and so the, the nuance around understanding what it takes, the challenges to actually run a tier one, yep. and also how to bridge that gap with what tech is providing with FinTech. Mm. So I think that's where I found myself, uh, like I could balance that act out. So that's when I moved to product. And I've been uh, doing product development, product management uh, for quite some time now. I understand the space. I've also been an operator in this space in terms of like co-founded a company earlier. Okay. And uh, so yeah, I mean, payments is exciting. Yes. Uh, everything else can stop 
payments can't. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, you, you are tapping to pay for your coffee, for your salons, everything. You need payments and you need virtual cards, you need your Apple Pays and all of that. That is really exciting. So really exciting. that's why I moved into this space and I've been liking it absolutely fine. Fantastic. And how do you motivate your team? Okay. How do you lead? You, you obviously have, have spent a, a, a great deal of time sort of understanding the product. And I think it's fascinating that you're from a developer background, so you really understand the building blocks yeah. of the products in which you're getting out there to yeah. your customers. What do you look for in, in, a, in a team member or, or when you're looking to, to motivate the people that work for you? Yeah. Well, passion is one. So, I mean, this is an industry and a space. If you are not passionate about this, I mean, you can get only as much done. So you have to be A, passionate around payments. Uh, you need to move beyond the buzzwords of banking as a service oh, and embedded yes, finance yes, and yes. invisible finance. <laughs> you have to, and then one of the things that we're trying to do at Thread, honestly, is to reclaim the story back, which is like payments is extremely tricky and complex and difficult. It's got a whole lot of partnerships and integration around this. You've got message formats to worry about. You've got your sponsor relationship and all of that. There is one level where people can understand that and make it appear simple. And that's where the weaving payments magic comes into play. Yes. But it's like uh, paddling of a duck underneath, right? Yes. So that's, that's yes. what we do. Calm so, underneath. Calm underneath. Not so under the water. No. <laughs> and that's, that's, so the team motivation comes from a lot of things. So we go out frequently, we socialize team lunches and team dinners Great. and then we do stand-ups and it's 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 a it's a really vibrant team that we have got awesome so, yeah. so you're really instilling a, 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 a culture within a business that is very much from what I can tell is is your yeah. personality yeah. as well which is I think is so important in a yeah. leader um, if someone's watching this now yeah thinks this is really cool what you do sure what's the advice that you would give them to, to, to take on a role like this or to get started yeah. or even better, what are some things that you would say don't do? Okay, so one thing I would say don't do because I'm a product person and I say no to a lot of things. Yes. Uh, which is our DNA as a product person. <laughs> so one thing I would always say, go very vertical on the knowledge. Okay. Because it's easy going horizontal when okay. you are trying to do a lot of things. Sure. But you have to be very in depth in what you want in terms of like, so if your passion is around payments, or if it's your passion around, let's say, e-commerce companies, or if your passion is around, let's say, any other form of uh, fintech or finance or tech in general, just go deep in there. Because learn your craft. Learn your craft. We, we, we've got a little bit of market correction around uh, people who, who claim to know a lot of things, mm -hmm. and that creates sort of like a bubble effect in sure. the industry. We okay. just want people to be able to go deep into their craft, and then give that back uh, to the society as well. That's a really great point. Okay, I like that advice. Um, what's on the horizon for you and your team over the next 12 months, Sandy? What are you guys looking at? What are you wary of? It's lots of things, and, and we're extremely wary of the environment right now as well, in terms of like the macroeconomic environment, uh -huh. what we have seen with uh, a lot of issues around uh, the bank runs, and, and I wouldn't name name, but yeah, you know that. Um, we are extremely, extremely conscious of the fact that we are building something that's going to be rock solid, yeah. that's robust, yeah. and we are building the base. So the platform, if the platform works, everything else can be plugged into that. So one of our focus for the next 12 months is basically launching more products and features into that. That's mm -hmm. where I and my team and my execs and senior leaderships come into play. So we're looking at uh, digital wallets propositions, then moving full on stream into credit. Uh, yes, many do credit processing, but yes. we are looking at a very, very larger game. Okay. So yeah, so these are some of the focus and also reining back some of the narrative and also product packaging mm -hmm. in terms of how we put it outside as thread. It's been fabulous so far. Like I'm coming in, I'm getting joined, okay. To close out, mm -hmm. just run, we're just going to yeah, just like run through again. Yeah, just like the hair, just tap, with the product, yeah. Lightly mm -hmm. Okay. It looks fantastic. Um, why don't you tell me mm -hmm. the best and worst part of your job? 
or the most challenging if we need to be more diplomatic? Mm, okay. Perfect. Brilliant. Good cutting. No, Good cutting. Okay. The best part of my job is is what I do as part of products and payments. That's the best part. I mean, yeah. like, I can't be even like more and more and more excited around the industry in general. Like, payments is amazing. Yeah. Like, I, I would be in here forever. <laughs> That's the best part. The worst part is at this point in time because I've I've got a 13 month old. Oh, congratulations! So what's happening is I'm I'm trying to balance out my time with my kid and family and the work. And uh, although I I don't say that as the worst experience, but it's it's a little bit tackling around it's things. It's hard to navigate. It's hard to navigate. But yeah, I mean I would rather not be anywhere else uh, in this industry and with my family. So I think it's a it's a good combo. That is great. Do you have a boy or a girl? I have a boy. And what's his name? Shlok. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful name. Yeah. <laughs> 18 months as well, so we're just... 13. 13, so yeah. oh my gosh, so even yeah. smaller. Even so we're smaller. just forming a little personality. Yeah. Even you're seeing some individual traits. Absolutely. Oh, it's a real special time for you. Well, congratulations. Thank that you, MC's. Is so MC's dad talk fintech all day. I don't... I hope he, he doesn't get payments all over his dreams, so... <laughs> Well, the hands are on the back of the chair. I think we are ready for the swivel and the big reveal. You tell oh, wow. us what you think. There you go. Just a bit more groom, a bit more tidy. Oh, yeah. And like I it? look young. There you go. <laughs> uh, right. Perfect. Well, it's Andy. It has been such a pleasure to meet you, you and chat to you. Thank you so much for joining no me. Thank you.